Good morning and welcome to another edition of the Safety Net Series 3. Uh, this week we have uh, Ms. Humbert with Mobile Community Action joining us to talk about all of the things that they've got going on over there. Um, but as always, before we get started, I want to be sure and thank our sponsors. We appreciate all they do for us. And with that... We'll get started. Good morning. Good morning. Glad that you could join us today. Thank you. Glad to have, glad you can have us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Mobile Community Action, that is a lot of stuff, a lot of things. Yes, ma'am. A lot of things. A lot of wheels are moving and, and, and turning around here um, with everything that we have going on. Um, should I just? Yeah. You want to start with a head start since that your that's your, your area. Yeah, That's my forte <laughs> area forte. Well, head start has a lot of things going on. Um, of course, we're always enrolling children um, currently enrolling children still for this school term as well. The um, we, we do online applications for the most part now. Um, um, and our, our online applications can be reached through our website, mcamobile.org. And um, they can also visit the centers, but they need to call the centers first because we still um, just have children and not the centers completely open right now. So if they're interested in one of our centers and they don't know where um, the centers are or the centers are located, they can also locate a list of our centers, including the complete addresses and phone numbers um, so that they can probably Google them or, you know, put them on their um, uh, GPS to find them. And then they can call to make an appointment to come in to pick up paperwork or um, applications and things like that. So we are currently still enrolling for this school term, um, but that ends April 3rd. And we start enrolling in all applications moving forward after April 3rd will um, be for next school term. So we are, but we enroll year round, but we just cut off for the school term. Okay. Um, so that's one, of course, current enrollment and current re recruitment for all of our children is still going on at all times. Uh, we're also, as an agency, in partnership um, with... Uh, High Point Baptist Church, we're going to be kicking off, we're, we're sending out information now about um, May is Community Action Month. And so we'll be um, celebrating um, all of the community agencies and things like that and the work that Community Action does um, by uh, partnering with High Point Baptist Church on May 20th. Mm -hmm. It's a Saturday. Um, and the event is from 10 to two o'clock where we're having, you know, a bunch of community vendors, health um, uh, screeners from like uh, Franklin Board of Health, um, things like that come out to highlight the things that the community agencies are doing. Um, we are, we're also offering vending opportunities for those who are interested in vending. They can um, contact uh, D Davis at mcamobile.org. Uh, for vending opportunities. Um, we, as a Head Start program, are also um, in partnership with the United Way um, of South Alabama um, presenting the basics program. It's like an additional support to the programs that we already um, do mm -hmm. um, that support the early um, learning and, and knowledge of children based on um, based on five concepts of uh, reading um, with children, music and, and play with children, connections with um, the children and their parents and things like that. So we're, we're in co cooperation with them or partnership with them to get information to our parents um, about what we they consider the basics of um, you know, helping children learn at an early, early stage. Mm -hmm. So um, that's another partnership that we're in. Um, let's see. We're also we just we got a a, a grant. Um, we, we're completing this Saturday um, the the last series of Born Ready University, mm -hmm. where we had um, a grant to supply uh, a certain amount of parents with workshops and opportunities to learn information on social emotional um, growth, health and wellness. Um, school readiness and um, 
and uh, um, I think, yeah, mental health, you know, services, social, mm -hmm. emotional um, disabilities in, in, in child and brain development. So we had the opportunity to work with parents for the last four Saturdays to make sure that they received additional support um, in working with their children um, um, at this age and, and different uh, resources um, was were provided to them through that um collaboration with Born Ready University. So again, uh, we're kicking off, we've kicked off in the last month or so, our male initiative um, program, um, encouraging males to be involved in our program. And that's through the fatherhood um, initiative um, and a partnership with the Mobile County Health Department. Um, so we're doing that also with our males male initiative and getting that off the ground. So there are, like I said, a lot of wheels turning <laughs> in Head Start um, and, and, and things that we're working on. So we're very busy. Okay. So let's uh, get a little bit in there. How do people, how do families qualify to participate in Head Start? Okay. So a lot of people um, don't know. We're the only Head Start program in the area. There are several early Head Start programs. Um, and we also offer early Head Start, which starts at six weeks old. Um, our program starts at six weeks old up to age three. And then the Head Start program starts at age three. And, you know, a lot of people think that they have to wait until the child is four. But, um, no, we take children at the age of three. Um, the, and you can put in an application for early Head Start once your child is six weeks old. And, again, for Head Start, if the child is three years old. And um, like I said, they're online applications through our website. Mm -hmm. And that's the only requirement is that they okay. have to meet age and income. Okay. And um, does that generally fluctuate or is it kind of a, you have a ballpark of what that means? Or is it dependent what, what on the do, family? What do you mean by fluctuate? Uh, the income requirements? Well, yeah, the income um, is based on the federal poverty guideline that all, you know, all the mm -hmm. um, you know agencies get. But our percentage is um, we can serve up to 131 percent of that federal poverty yeah. guideline. So but we do accept over income families, depending upon, you know, what the need is for the child. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have a percentage of over income families that we can um Except so in order to um, get an application processed, we just need the child's birth certificate, the parent ID and 12 months of income information. And so that income information is what we work individually with the families on because okay. it could be different things. Um, you know, recently guidelines, you got a little bit of wiggle room. Right. OK, so if if a family is receiving SNAP benefits. Mm -hmm. Then, then we can use that for their income. If they um, right now, because we have to have twelve months of income, it's tax season. So if they have filed their taxes, that gives them twelve months worth of income, and sure. we can use um, that tax return information or the W twos that they use to file that tax return information. So okay. those are the three things that they need in order to get the initial application started and then they will um, have contact with the center to get the additional paperwork for the application. You know, I think one of the unique things about Head Start too is it's it's more than just about the child. It's a, a whole family approach. You want to talk a little bit about that? Exactly. Um, Head Start um, is not just about the child. As you said, in the classroom setting, we look at the whole family and we have a whole family. Um, our family advocates are um, responsible for working with the parents of those children to make sure um, that any goals that they want to achieve while their child is in our program and they have that free time, then they can work on, you know, whatever it is that they want to work on. And we have those advocates here um, to assist them. They're kind of like our social workers of mm -hmm. our program where the families can, you know, establish a development plan with our advocates and work with them to, you know, get signed up for school, get a driver's license, complete their, you know, GED, start initiating planning for home ownership and, you know, things like that. We put on um, required parent workshops just to give parents resources and get them information that they may need to know also, um, 
you know, just for the advancement and the head start of their family as a whole. Because um, if the parents, you know, are not able to be stable and and do the things that they need to do, then that makes it even more the difficult for the child. So we try to um, work with the parent to alleviate any barriers that they may have um, to to their whole family having a head start. That's awesome. Um, what happens in the summertime? Do you guys still continue services? Well, um, in the last few years, um, I believe in the last two years, we have had a summer camp. Mm-hmm. It's, not necess- it's not necessarily run the same way as Head Start, but we identify those children who may need, you know, some more additional supports. And we have had a summer camp program. That's for the Head Start program because mm-hmm. they're normally not a year round program. Our early Head Start program is a year round program. So they may get um, a few weeks of new program term, mm-hmm. but early Head Start is a program that runs year round um, as a regular. And like I said, in the last few years, we've had a summer camp program. Um, so we're in, in talks about whether or not we're going to have that program this year. Okay. Well, we'll be sure to check back with you guys and follow you on Facebook to see, um, what the plans for the summer are going to be. What would you right. say it, is, oh, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. I was going to say, what do you think is your biggest uh, need right now? If, if people were looking to help, what, what would you well, say? Well, I'm just having those children. Be, right. Oh, okay. Our biggest need right now is just people getting the word out because you would be surprised as much as we're out there and in trying to, um, you know, we, we have a great partnership with uh, Mobile Park and Recreation where they give us all of their, you know, flyers and information for the programs and stuff because a lot of families attend those events. And so we circulate their information and we go out to their all of their events, most of their events, um, to make sure that we're able to uh, reach um, the community as a whole. And so our biggest um, issue is making sure that people are aware that we're here for them mm-hmm. and, 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 and that we are um, servicing children um, for early childhood education. And it's absolutely at no cost to them. I don't like to use the word free. Um, right. So I'll just say no cost because it is, it's not a free program, um, but there's no cost to our parents. And that's the benefit, you know, um, for them that there's no cost to them. We supply everything that the child needs for school, um, so all they have to do is show up and, you know, be present to to receive those services, you know, um, on, on a regular basis. So um, getting the word out and making sure that people are aware that we're here, that we're taking applications year round, that they children, their children can get a comprehensive um, and by comprehensive. One of the good things, too, about Head Start is that we Again, it's not just about the child in the classroom and the learning of the ABCs and the one, two, threes. It's about their overall um, head start, children being healthy, children being socially and emotionally ready to start school, um, children being um, fed, you know, you know, nutrition. So these are all things that we offer in our program um, to make sure that the child is um, is ready for um, school in every aspect and that the family is ready for that child to be in school in every aspect, because it's not just about, you know, that child, you have first time parents who, you know, aren't used to, you know, the child, the the school setting or what the rules are and where you have to be and what you have to do. So we kind of acclimate the child and the family um, for getting ready, preparing for school. That is truly a wonderful um, program, and we're glad that you guys are able to to provide that for our community. Do you have any final thoughts as we wrap up this morning? Well, as we wrap up, I just want to make everybody aware again that we are currently still accepting um, applications for um, for our Head Start and Early Head Start program. Um, and we take those year round. Just um, go to our website, mcamobile.org, um, to put in an application, or you can give us a call at our uh, main office, 457 5700, my extension um, 
for uh, to talk about applications and things like that is 1133. Um, and also just to let people know to save the date for our community family fun day, which is going to be um, again celebrating our the community action um, month, which is May 20th. Um, from 10 to 2 at High Point Baptist Church. So those are um, the that's the big activity that we're planning for and that we have coming up. So if you need more information about that, you can um, contact me as well. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to throw up our final graphic so we can thank our sponsors again. Um, you've provided some wonderful information, and I hope anybody out there watching um, reaches out and takes advantage of the opportunities. Thank so, you so um, much. Awesome. Thank you, sponsors. And we'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.